Like a lot of my friends say you're not really into watching soccer, but your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, Tinder date, whatever, really wants to catch a game this weekend, but you're like, eh, but still want to cuddle, I highly recommend you catching Ronaldo in a Juventus jersey versus Chievo. Arsenal hasn't had the greatest kickoff to the season with that loss to Man City last weekend, but I'm going to give it that Emre is still trying to put in his footballing philosophy in their minds. Meanwhile, Ozil is still banking around 350,000 pounds the week. Hashtag soccer blogger donations. Anyways, good luck Gunners. On Chelsea's end, I'm hoping to see Hazard get some playing time this weekend. Sarri is definitely seeing some ROI with Jorginho on the pitch. And I'm really hoping for some Conte love, some Conte hugs. This is going to be a great matchup. Second melee matchup I'm looking forward to is Tottenham vs Fulham. This is the all London clash. I'm hoping to see Harry Kane say goodbye to that drought because he has yet to score a Premier League goal in the month of August throughout his whole footballing career. So I'm like, hello Harry, score a goal already, it's August. Tottenham definitely has a World Cup heavy stack team, but Fulham has an interesting roster with Vieto, Sessegnon, Schurla, and Mitrovic. And after four years of absence in the Premier League, they're the first ones looking for the W. Third melee matchup this weekend, Everton vs Southampton. Everton just coming off that late minute tie against the Wolves, but they have 40 million pound signing Richarlison, who scored a brace, but he may or may not play this weekend due to a late injury. Hopefully he does, but that's okay if he doesn't, because they have Yerry Mina. Dude, you put in Yerry in any set piece, chances are statistics are with him. He will score a Goliath header. I can't wait for Yerry Mina to score a goal for the E. Random facts of the weekend, Kevin De Bruyne just got injured in training and he's going to be out for nine or more weeks. There goes my EPL Fantasy League. Also, Tottenham Son, uh, he's going to have to go to the Asian Cup and score a goal for South Korea. No pressure, but it's either score a goal for Korea or serve the military. And for the MLS Roundup, I got to go with third place Portland Timbers versus second place Sporting Kansas City. Timbers fan base is sick. That game's gonna be lit. Well, folks, that's it for the Soccer Blogger Week in Preve. 